Hey Cubs, welcome back to another gaming video. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called The Sims 4 101 Dalmatians Challenge. Now this was inspired by LD Shadow Lady and her 101 Dalmatians Challenge, but she did it in Minecraft. And I'm going to link her video in the description down below. And instead we're going to be doing it in The Sims. Now first off, I'm going to make my character, my gacha character in The Sims. I have got some custom content that will help with the wolf ears and tail, which I thought was pretty cute. And now it's time for a time lapse. Here we go.
that is my character then. I think I resembled my OC catcher character pretty well. I'm just going to do the name. Alpha, Alpha, okay, Alpha Wolf. And uh, yeah, I did the character on the everyday outfit. is my normal outfit, which is just like um, off the shoulder top with a short skirt and some purple boots. And then, of course, with other clothes, I kind of just picked them out and what I think my character would wear. And for the traits, I will choose animal because I'm a wolf. And then I like the colour purple, blue, black. And we'll go for white. And then we'll just do the music. In real life, I do like some pop music. I do like a bit of romance music and a few other things. So I'm just going to add them in. And then I'm just going to do activities. In real life, I do like cooking. I have a guitar. Don't re- I learned this guitar. And yeah, I like video games and all that lot. So yeah, I'll just add all those in. And now for my other traits. So let's go. I I am creative, so we'll put the creative. Um, I do like cats and dogs. So I'm not. I'm not gonna choose like just one. I'm just gonna leave that separate because of the animal aspect. Um, I do like family orientated, but that's usually on kids. And the series is mainly going to be on Dalmatians. So, hmm, let's see. I am very ambitious, so we'll put that. And we'll go with neat, because I am a bit neat. I am neat. Yeah, so there you go. That is my character done. And I'm going to put this character up and to gallery so if any of you guys want to have it it is there it is in my old um username but that is fine but i'm just gonna put it up there for anyone else who wants it that is fine but yeah i think that is a really good like sims picture of my gacha oc Okay, so now that I've um, uploaded that to the gallery, it's time to add the two Dalmatians that will be the parents of our 101 Dalmatians. And so I'm obviously going to do it Perdita and Pongo, like the normal 101 Dalmatians. And if we do have any puppies in this video or in the next video, I will be starting off by naming the few puppies from the actual film. And then if you want me to name any after you, or if you have a Dalmatian that you want me to name, just, I'll take any name suggestions, but for a few, like, starter puppies, I will be naming them after the puppies from the film. But yes, so we'll start off with Predita, since she is the mother. Um, so she does have a little bit of spots on her ear. There are a few options. As we will see now, so if we just find Dalmatian again. There are three different coat colours. There is this one, which has barely no spots. Uh, there's this one, which has got like a lot of spots. And then there's that one, which has got a little bit of spots in the ear. And a little bit of spots everywhere. Perdita does have spots on her ear, like quite a few, so we're going to go with this one. And we'll just do her. We'll do, let's do her traits. Actually, we'll get her like collar on first, and then we'll do her traits. So in the film, she does have like a light blue collar with a circle tag and not a bone one. So we'll go with this. Uh, we're just. I'm just. I was just looking at other collars, but I did. But I'm going to stick with this one for now, and then we're gonna do a light blue harness to match but uh, the collars not can't be shown on with the harness but we'll just do a light blue harness to match her collar so it's nice and cute now we'll do her traits uh, she is loyal so we will put that and um, we will also put friendly because she is at friendly as well in the film and um, we're probably going to go with playful so she can play because she is quite playful when it comes to the puppies. And yeah, 
I think that's pretty to done. Okay, now we're gonna go on to Congo. So we're gonna have to find our missions again. So, <laughs> okay, so this Labrador is quite cute. But we're gonna go for a Dalmatian. And Congo does have like a full two black ears. But we'll just go with this one because it's got a lot more spots and it's got like practically black ears. So we'll do his collar. He has a red collar in the film and we'll do a red harness also. And yeah, so let's put in Pongo and we'll do his traits. So in the film, Pongo is very like hyper at the start and we'll do... Hmm. We'll do smart because he is quite smart when the puppies did get taken and stealthy because he is quite stealthy And there you go our starter home is finished we got myself and then we got Pongo and Predita to start this 101 Dalmat Dalmatians challenge So I'll just save it as 101 Dalmatians challenge And there you go, everything is done. So now we just got to find a place for them to live. Now, in the end of the thing, they lived at the farm because they had 101 instead of 15. So I think at the start, we should just get like a small farm. But what residential world should we live in? Uh, what about Willow Creek? But we need a big space for the farm. So there are quite a few houses but this is, but there's like no big sort of area so we'll go to Brunton Bay. Uh, this mansion would be a perfect size but there's something I've already did and I think it might be a little bit too big. So not the desert, they did live like somewhere in the forest so we'll go with New Crest. Um, there is literally nothing there and I think Twin the twin oakle point would be a good place to start so i think we should live there with a small like house for ourselves and then like enough room to play with with the puppies and the dogs <laughs> okay so now that we have loaded in um i'm gonna quickly change the phone color on in the game, my phone colour case. And we'll go with purple. Um, one thing that I'm going to add to the challenge of the 101 Dalmatians challenge is that um, Pr Don Pongo and Predita has to be fully trained, like knows all the tricks and sit and speak and all that lot. So I'm going to do a small time lapse of me just doing a little bit now. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>
Okay, I did cut it for a bit because I did start training them like a lot and I didn't want it being a really long time lapse. But um, we need a house now because my sim needs stuff. So I'm very bad at building like smaller farms. So I'm going to get someone, I'm going to get an idea or like a plot from someone else. I'll leave their name in the description down below. I So after looking for a while, um, I think I'm going to go with this small farm. Uh, um, I'll leave credits of the person who built this house in the comments down below. And if you're wondering what these little white boxes are, I um, just just me covering some personal details. Yeah, and that's all. Okay, so we got the house now. I did have to unfurnish it because there's some packs that they used that I do not own. And I'm going to change it a little bit only because it's a bit fiddly. But yeah, I'll be right back with you once I furnish all the whole place and did it. So there's stuff for the dogs and myself.
Okay, so as you saw, I had I wanted to make a different sort of house, uh, one that would suit um, me, my sim, and yeah. So I've done a few other things because I did have to cut a few things out, otherwise this video would be long. Well, yeah, I'd probably have to because it would take a lot to record. But now I'm just gonna build a small little outdoor or area. So if the dogs or the puppies don't want to come inside, they don't have to sleep outside. There will be like a little den shelter thing in the corner. I've also put some training things around because I do want them to do a few agility things and also about me training Pongo and Predita. So I'm just gonna put some doggy puppy dog and puppy beds in there so even Pongo and Predita ones could sleep in there and I'll do more than two because if the puppies grow up they will they can't be in the puppy bed so I'm gonna do at least four adult ones and like three little puppy ones I'm gonna try and do them in all different colors um I've also scattered some balls and toys around uh, I've changed the pond a little bit. Oh, I missed up a little bit there. Okay, so that's our little farmhouse. And thank you to the person that made the farm. So, um, yeah, credits to you down below. Um, I'm going to have my sim now go sort out her needs. Um, it looks like the dogs are following me. So yeah, I hope that they can go explore while I just do stuff with my sim. So because this video is already almost half an hour long, I'm we're probably not going to have any puppies this episode. But next episode, we will try to have at least one little puppies, or at least get have Predita expecting puppies. Uh, so I think for the rest of the video, it's just going to be my sim learning how to cook and getting to know her skills and just going around the house and um yeah and and with the dogs just let them roam around a little bit get them used to the farm and yeah and maybe just work on their training a bit more i think that's all i could do in this video maybe give them both a bath but um <laughs> just giving Pongo a treat. Um, oh, I wonder how. It... I think she's getting stuck on a wall. Yeah, the dogs are in the way. I might want to add a doggy door or something on the actual door. So, because I kind of want to lock the door for any strangers as well as the front gate. So, yeah, but then the dogs can come. Dogs and puppies can just come in whenever they want. Uh, there might be a possibility I could do. Uh, there's a lot of things I could do. But just remember, I will. I am taking name suggestions for any puppies. I do need, well, I will need 101 um, names. Well, technically, in the film, they didn't, they counted, with 101, they kind of counted. Pongo and Predita. So technically, I need ninety-nine names, suggestions, and also, if you're wondering how I'm gonna have all those puppies in this house, I will not. Once they've turned, once I've run out of room, the first little puppies is that become adults. I'm going to have them move into different locations. And like they will live with either sims that have already been created in the game, or if I start another um, series on my channel with sims, they can go live with them. Or if I just wanted, or if I'm just playing the sims for fun and I do ha have a household, they can just go live with them. Of course, there's a lot of puppies, and there's going to be not a lot of houses. So, some of them, they'll be like, but they will be with a few of their siblings in the different houses. But, um, yeah, I can't think. 
of anything else. Um, oh yeah, and even though we might forget um, how many puppies we got or something, I will be having like scattered around the house and the little shelter outside for the dogs. I will be taking pictures before we move them out. I will be taking pictures of them when they were an adult, so with their collar and their patterns and all that lot. Like taking a picture of them and then naming that photo of their name and saying what number of puppy they are. So I also just found out that there are new like things for like the pond or stuff, so I'm just gonna add them in as well as um I want to add like some stuff for gardening so if we see like a stray cat we can give it some catnip and maybe help it out and you never know if you really guys want me to I could adopt a stray to keep with me because I am because all the puppies are going to go out off to new homes once they're adults Pongo and Perdita are staying with me but if you want as like a little side thing I could adopt another puppy like a stray puppy or a stray kitten or something so we'll be like taking care of a kitten as well or taking care of another dog that's not a dalmatian but yeah i'm gonna do some gardening on the side like here as you can see that i'm doing a bit of garden not too much because we'll be more focused on um you know the dalmatians but yeah i'm just gonna come open them and then do a bit of gardening but yeah um just adding some flowers in, but not too much. A bit of herbs. But yeah, since but since this um episode is already like half an hour long, I think af like I think I should end it here. But there will be a new episode if you want it the series to carry on. If not, that's completely fine. Um, I will still have these guys these characters rubbing around my world if you want if you want me to do another sims challenge like um random generated sim or if you actually want me to recreate um disney characters or like anything like that um but yeah i think i'm gonna end it for the episode today since it's already half an hour long but yeah if you do want episode 2 of 101 dalmatians challenge and just leave me know in the comments down below and remember, I will put the credits to this, the small farmhouse credits in the description down below to the person who made it. And as well as LD Shadow Lady's uh, channel and video oh, that got me thinking about the series down below as well. And if you want me to do any more gacha memes or any music videos in gacha form or any sort of video game you want me to try, please let me know. I am feel free to leave suggestions. And I'm most likely going to do them because I'm interested to try stuff new. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Either that might be maybe gachas or another video game. But I'll see you cubs later. Bye!